Morning. Morning, Jaren. What's on the docket? We gotta do that lockout tag out video. Right. What do you want to do for that? Why don't we just go through the questions and think about something that we can do for each of them. Well, first thing they got to know, obviously, is where the lockout tagout station is. Right there in the electrical shop, right? Yep. The lockout center consists of numerous locks, including electrical department, HVAC department, carpentry, and contractor for each of the department needs. Also, cord lockout of various types and shapes. You can also get your lockout tags, complete with front, danger, do not operate, and written back. Use a zip tie to secure to lock. Also, there's this thing, and these breaker locks, for locking out or taking out. Extras may be found in the bin. For front and back, please see front and back. Uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't think we need to do that. We just need to let them know what an authorized and affected employee is. I don't want to waste my time. I mean, their time. Mainly my time. So like authorized, isn't that just like someone like D or custodian? Someone that is affected by it, but they can't actually turn the power off or maybe they don't know how. <laughs> Did someone say my name? So first we take the lock and we lock it. And then, and then what? And then we take the zip tie, and we zip tie the tag to the lock. And what does that do? It attaches the zip tie to the lock, and then we write our name and expected completion date. Like the duration. The, the duration. The duration. Okay. Easy enough. So then no one else, not an authorized person, not an affected person, no one, not even Hacksaw Jim Duggan himself can get that lock off. Not even Jim Dugan. Oh! Wouldn't that be something? Well, Eric, the main thing is that we just make sure that... Hi, Jaren. Well, Eric, the main thing is that we just make sure that it's locked Mine out. Jared. We just make sure that it's locked out and it will not turn back on. It it can't be Jared. had to turn that off. Uh, it cannot be energized again. So we really want to make sure all the energy's been dissipated. Hydraulics are out. Mine too, we have we have released all the energy, we've deactivated it all, we want to make sure that all the switches are off My and in their, lock in their lock position so that no one can get a hold of it. That way, we have it locked out My and ready. <laughs> Seriously! Where are those guys? Come on! Now, what is the difference between a lock and a tag? You only use a tag when the lock won't fit on there. So I want to use a lock when at all possible, but if I cannot, a tag is still acceptable. Say, for instance, I have an extension cord, and I'm making sure it's unplugged while I service the machine. I want to make sure that I lock that, maybe even in our special extension cord lock, out, tag, out, or at least tag it if I can't get one of those locks on. Is that what you're saying? The last thing you want is somebody to come up and make something explode on you, you know? Okay, so I got my lock on there, but then you put yours on. Yeah, if I need to work on it as well, I just come up and put my lock on there. That way if you get finished and you need to leave, it's I, still locked out. So I go, I take my lock off. I make sure that, obviously, all the stuff I've done is done, but you're not finished. I can't get that lock off. Yeah, you definitely don't want somebody to come up and turn something on when you're working on it, because then you might end up on one of those German forklift videos. Mm -hmm. 
Nachtaus- und Instandsetzungsarbeit dürfen nur durch Fachpersonal erfolgen. Also nicht selber fummeln und auch keine Dritten fummeln lassen. Was denn? Wegen so einer Kleinigkeit? Man hat schließlich keine zwei linken Hände. Hey, where's my plunger? I've been trying to get a hold of y'all all day. I got a back up the size of an elephant over in Campbell. So say I need to turn something back on, like I'm in the middle of the job. I don't have to go through all that junk again, do I? Well, you have to start all the way over. Huh? You have to start all the way over. Say I'm doing my electrical work and I need to lock something out. I find the breaker I'm looking for, I disengage it, making sure that the power is turned off to the supplied item I'm going to work on. Then I put my lock on, or my tag in this case, since I can't fit a lock on that breaker. I then take my tag and my supplied zip tie and I secure it. This is one of those instances where definitely a tag is going to work where a lock will not fit. I then make sure I have it with my danger, do not operate tag placed on it. I secure that down tight. And then I take my marker and make sure I put my name, my department, and my expected completion date. I want to make sure I get this job done today, so I'm going to put the date on there. Now on the back, if there's anything else anyone needs to know, I'm going to write remarks about it, like, please do not tamper with. And there, my lockout takeout has been completed. Oh great, I forgot to check on something with the power supply. I'm going to turn it back on. So basically, all I want to do is disconnect my lockout, take my tag off, take the lock off, the tag off the breaker, re-energize, I'm going to then check my power supply, and then I can just put the same tag on, right? No, you have to start the whole process over again. Oh man, really? Yeah. I guess that's for my safety and yours, right? I'm going to take my new tag, with my new zip tie, making sure it's all disengaged, secure it, and I'm going to write down all my new information here. Again, my name, my department, and my expected completion date. Does that sound correct? Yes. Perfect. What about a main disconnect? Well, actually, Eric, these are a whole lot easier. All you have to do is shut them off, and then they already have a built-in hole. You just stick the lock in there. Can you lock it? There's no way they can get that back open. Anybody can get that back open without taking the lock off. And then you follow the same procedure. Put the tag on. And then your name, department, and expected completion date. Okay, so really, we just make sure we follow the same protocol no matter what, each time, every time. Yes. It's the same all over the place. Someone got something stuck in the trash compactor again. Am I going to just let them jump on in there? Absolutely not. We need to do a lockout tag out. That's a great idea. I'm going to make sure I contact an authorized user to disengage the power to the trash compactor and then perform standard lockout tag out procedures, including attaching my lock. Then putting my lock tag on the device and including my description, my name, department, and my expected completion date on this project. So Eric, who are some of the authorized lockout tagout employees? You're thinking someone in the electric department, HVAC, carpentry, plumbing, heck, even vehicle maintenance. And it's also important that we make sure that what we intend to disengage is actually disengaged. Right. We definitely don't want to turn off the wrong thing. The key's still on, but obviously with our lockout, it's not going to turn on, is it, Jared? No, because there is no power going to this thing. None whatsoever. Successful lockout takeout. I get it. So say on this bandsaw, I want to remove the switch plate 
add the lockout device, making sure I secure it, then place it, put my lock on, and tag it, and I'm ready to go. Hey, but Eric, we still have one more thing that we need to make sure is in our presentation. Oh yeah? What's that? Yeah, so the way to finish up is very, very simple. Simple. So I want to recheck the power is still disengaged, obviously, my lock's on, on there, so I shouldn't have any problem there. Right. And then you take the tag off first. Okay, so know. my tag is off. I'm going to I'm gonna erase my writing on there and use that again later, obviously. Yeah, and then you can take the lock off. I take my lock off, securing the key in it to put back in the lockout station. Correct. And then you, before you turn the equipment back on, you make sure that you have all your tools. What was a saw doing in there? I don't know. But I clean and then engage the power. Correct. So now we just need to let people know. Yeah, Eric, just make sure that every affected employee is aware that the equipment is back up and running. Yodale, yodale, yodale. That would be funny. <laughs> That would be good. <laughs> he gets it. <laughs> but, you know, I really don't have time for that. You're right, Jaren. But it'd be funny if we did that, though. Well, anyway, uh, guess we better start get to it, huh? Oh, man. Eric, it's 4 o'clock. Let's just let the safety committee take care of it. What? Man, this day flew by. All right, well, guess we'll do it again tomorrow.